Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about our new GoWork Gen 2 work headset. Uh, it's the next iteration of our GoWork headphone line. We're excited to showcase this. Uh, we've added some new features. So out of the box, you'll get the GoWork. Um, you'll notice something new, which is the USB-C dongle that we're including with this model. It's plugged into the headphone. Uh, this is where you can store it if you're not using it. Um, but in our case, we're gonna take it out because this is how we wanna connect with the Gen 2 version of the GoWork, there's three connection options. The first being the USB-C dongle. The second being just a normal traditional Bluetooth connection. Um, this is also how you would connect to multipoint, uh, meaning two simultaneous devices. It has to be through a standard Bluetooth connection, as well as a USB-C to C cable, which is a aux in cable. So if you run out of battery and you're in a pinch, you need to use this headset, you can just grab the USB-C to C cable and plug it into your device. So now we'll walk you through how to connect the GoWork 2, whether it's through the dongle, Bluetooth, or aux in. So we'll start with the USB-C dongle. First thing you wanna do is power on the headset by holding the multifunctional button, and then take your USB-C dongle, plug it into your computer. If you're wearing the headset, you'll hear a chime uh, that indicates that it's connected properly to the dongle. And then if you go into your devices, sound output settings, you'll see Go Work USB. You'll just wanna make sure that this is selected as the output as well as the input. This way you can hear audio coming through the, the ear cups as well as your voice being picked up if you're using the microphone. To connect the Go Work 2 to Bluetooth, uh, just make sure you have the dongle stored somewhere. You can actually store the dongle into the USB-C port, but you don't have to lose it. Once you turn it on, you'll see a red and blue flashing light. This indicates that it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. From there, go to your device that you wish to pair, go into your Bluetooth settings and click connect, and you'll be paired. You'll hear a Bluetooth connected prompt uh, if you're wearing the headset. Uh, what multipoint is, is it allows you to connect to two devices simultaneously. In this case, we're gonna connect to our iPhone as well as our computer. So we've already connected the GoWork 2 to the iPhone. Let's say we wanna also pair it to the computer. Step one will be to turn off Bluetooth on your original device. This will automatically disconnect the GoWork 2 to your phone and put it in pairing mode. You should see it again by the red and blue flashing lights. From there, go into your computer's Bluetooth settings, find the GoWork 2 and click connect. You should also hear the Bluetooth connected prompt in the headset. Once it's connected to your computer, go back to your phone, turn on Bluetooth, and then click Go Work 2 to connect. It is now connected on the phone as well as the computer. The third and final connection option for the Go Work 2 is just a simple USB-C to C aux in. Um, this is great if your Go Work 2 headset runs out of battery. Uh, you can use this aux in cable without any power um, to use uh, on calls, listen to music, etc. Simply just take the cable, plug one end of the USB-C into the headset, and then plug the other end into your device, and you're good to go. The GoWork 2 has some button controls on the headset. They have volume up and down, obviously to go volume up, volume down, a multifunctional power button. This also answers calls, it hangs up calls. Um, to switch between music and voice mode, which are two different EQ modes, depending on if you just wanna listen to music, or maybe you're on a phone call and would prefer the EQ to be more uh, tuned towards human voice, you can press and hold the volume up down button simultaneously. The quick mute is located on the right ear cup. It's also indicated by a red light and you'll hear a mute on or off prompt. Last but not least, another great addition to the GoWork and Gen 2 version is uh, it's fully compatible with our JLab app. Meaning you can customize the level of ENC or environmental noise cancellation of the microphone. Um, depending on if you're in a very loud environment, you might want the ENC to be high. If you're in a quiet environment, you may not need as much ENC. So we give the user full customization over how strong that effect is. We also have the ability to change touch controls and button controls, um, as well as uh, customize the EQ. We offer firmware updates um, and safe hearing, which we've rolled into our new app. So we're excited to get our new work headset compatible with the JLab app. Just go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store to download. In regards to troubleshooting, there's one issue um, in regards to Windows PCs or laptops that may arise when you're connecting the GoWork 2 via Bluetooth. Um, if you have more than two uh, Bluetooth devices like a keyboard and mouse paired to your computer, um, you might notice when you turn on and connect the GoWork 2 
that it's only playing music. Um, however, if you're on a phone call or a video call and the person on the other end is having trouble hearing you or your mic's not working, um, this is likely due to Windows Bluetooth where it kicks off the microphone connection of the GoWork 2. So in order to troubleshoot this, you'll want to turn off the mouse and keyboard or any other Bluetooth device that is connected to your computer and only have the GoWork 2 paired first. So completely forget the GoWork 2 from your computer or device, um, turn off all other Bluetooth devices, and then reconnect the GoWork 2. Turn on the mouse and keyboard after you've connected the GoWork 2 and that should resolve any issues.